Hello friends, uh, it's Gail Anna Swarter. Welcome to the sanctuary of Linden Linthicum United Methodist Church. If you hear some uh, noise that sounds like there's drilling and construction going on, there is, and uh, it's part of the beginning part of our uh, audiovisual installation that's happening. So we're excited that that's going on. So you might hear some noise and just wanted to let you know. Well, last time uh, I did one of these devotionals, I talked about um, two things being put together. And I quoted Charles Wesley, unite the things so long disjoined, knowledge and vital piety, thinking and faith, and how it is that the Wesleys um, and Wesleyan theology puts those things together. There's another thing that Wesleyan theology puts together very strongly that not every faith community thinks about in exactly the way that we as United Methodists and others in the Wesleyan heritage would. And that is the idea of our, our faith practices and our good service in the world and how those things go together. In some uh, communions of faith, people are very concerned about personal salvation. They want to know when and how you were saved and um, how's your prayer life going and, and that kind of thing. In other parts of the Christian family, people want to know what's happening with the so what question. Are you doing something useful in the world because of the bedrock of your faith? Um, is that happening? John Wesley understood that those things go together. That uh, what he called the works of piety, prayer and scripture study and worship, uh, things like that, went together like hand in glove with your service in the community and his bands of followers visited in prisons and took care of people there. They were really involved with reforming uh, child work uh, situations in England. They were involved in public health in England, involved in all kinds of things that made people's lives better because of their faith. And so their practices of their faith undergirded the actions of their faith. We often separate those things. Some communities really strongly do it one way or another, but we as Christians often do that. There are ways that we act in church and ways that we act somewhere else or what we wear to church and we wear someplace else or we just kind of separate things Part of our Wesleyan heritage, and for me it's a wonderful part of that heritage, is that those things are put together. And it comes together for me in a scripture from Matthew 25, the story about the separating of the sheep and the goats. And Jesus is talking about that and how some will be sent uh, to a wonderful uh, connection with God and some will be sent to exactly the opposite of that and he uses the metaphor of sheep and goats and and the question is well why why did some go one way and some go another way and he said um, if you do these things the feeding of people and the clothing of people and the welcoming of strangers and so on if you do these things who are the least of these and then he says who are members of my family. You've done it for me. And so that kind of puts it together for me. There are these actions that really speak to our faith and those actions are undergirded by our love of and relationship with Jesus, who is the author and perfecter of our faith, it says in, in um, the book of Hebrews. So I'd invite you to think about your faith that way. And I'd invite you, if you will, to try to think every day of doing at least one of those things. Uh, John Wesley called the works of piety and the works of mercy. At least one uh, Christian discipline each day, prayer, scripture reading, um, reading of devotionals, worship, at least one of those things every day. And then at least one thing every day that is some way where you use what you know from your faith, from the love of God and the mercy that you've received to bless the world. So you can do that one time every day and do 
a work of piety one time every day, you will be holding things together in the way that Jesus did and in a way that is really very Wesley and one of the lovely things that John Wesley taught us as we think about uh, some of his messages on the week of his birthday. I hope you'll do that. It will enrich your faith, your faith I promise, and you'll be a blessing to others. Amen.